In this video, I'm going to demonstrate performing the sensor watch board swap on a Casio A168 wristwatch. The procedure is identical on the F91W, the only difference is in the case material. The only tool required for this procedure is a small Phillips head screwdriver, but you can optionally perform the buzzer swap using a pair of fine tipped tweezers and a soldering iron, which is hanging out just out of frame. So let's get started. First, I'm going to undo the watch strap so that I can lay the watch flat on my work area and see the metal back plate. We're going to use our fine tipped Phillips screwdriver to unscrew each of the four screws holding on the metal back plate. With all four screws removed, we can now remove the back plate and expose the inside of the wristwatch. Here you can see the green circuit board that is the quartz movement, as well as a black rubber gasket. Using either your fingers or the tweezers, carefully remove the rubber gasket from the watch case and set it aside, taking care to note the orientation. Now, using a fingernail, you can gently lift the movement out of the watch case. At this point you should set the watch case and strap aside and optionally turn it upside down to prevent dust from collecting inside. From here, we're going to use our tweezers or a fingernail to disengage the four metal tabs holding the back retaining clip onto the white plastic enclosure. Carefully pull the tab away from the white plastic enclosure until the tab disengages, and then repeat the process for each of the four tabs at the four sides of the plastic enclosure. With these four tabs disengaged, the back retaining clip should lift easily away from the watch movement. Now you can remove the battery and set it aside. This green circuit board is the original quartz movement for the watch. Remove it and set aside the white plastic enclosure. Sensor watch reuses several parts from the original Casio, including this battery clip, which you should remove and set aside. If it doesn't want to come out, it can help to apply some pressure from the back this will help free it from its retaining hole. All told, these are the parts that will be reused when you reassemble the watch with the sensor watch board swap installed. The watch case and strap, the back plate, the four Phillips screws, the white plastic enclosure, including the display and zebra strip connector, the metal retaining clip, the battery clip, and the black rubber gasket. Optionally, you may at this point remove the buzzer connector from the original circuit board using your fine tip tweezers and soldering iron. Note that you must use tweezers at this step, as the buzzer connector will get extremely hot when heated by the soldering iron. First, firmly grasp the metal buzzer connector using your tweezers. Then, heat the blob of solder at the base. The solder will melt, releasing the buzzer connector from the board. Set the buzzer connector aside, and then set aside the original quartz movement. You won't be needing it anymore. Next, grab your sensor watch board. The sensor watch board has an exposed pad in the same location as the buzzer connector on the original movement. Once the small metal buzzer clip has cooled down, use your hands to carefully place it on the exposed pad at the bottom of the sensor watch circuit board. Note that the buzzer connector includes a small tab, and there's also a guide hole on the circuit board, which should help keep it in place while you solder it down. Using your soldering iron and a little bit of fine solder, heat the base of the connector and melt the solder onto the pad. Once you're done, the buzzer connector should be soldered into place. Before moving on, make sure to give the buzzer connector and the circuit board a bit of a chance to cool down before touching it again. This might be a good time to arrange all the pieces you'll need to reassemble the watch. Regardless of whether you installed the buzzer connector or not, these next steps are the same. First, Take the white plastic enclosure and set the sensor watch board swap inside. Next, take the battery clip and place it in the center of the sensor watch board, matched with the two holes on either side of the negative terminal. Place the battery with its negative side down on the back of the sensor watch circuit board. Then place the metal retaining clip on top of that. Now, re-engage each of the four metal tabs at the corners of the white plastic enclosure. The screen should turn on as you perform this step. Now all that's left is to place the movement inside the watch case. First, 
make sure each of the pushers is pushed to the out position. Then, gently place the movement into the watch case, making sure the side with two buttons matches the side with two pushers. Once again, using either your fingers or the tweezers, gently place the black rubber gasket in the recessed area reserved for it, and make sure that it's laying flat. Next, we'll replace the metal backplate, making sure that the round circle, the piezo buzzer, matches with the buzzer connector at the bottom of the board. Fit the metal backplate onto the back of the watch, and then replace each of the four Phillips head screws that hold on the backplate. Take care that each of these screws goes in straight and is adequately tightened, as both the screws and the rubber gasket are crucial to the water resistance of the fully assembled watch. With that, your board swap is fully installed, and your classic Casio wristwatch is now a sensor watch.